welcome to my platform so this is a live video um, of me taking a shot at a few questions around the certified kubernetes security specialist exam um, hopefully if you do find this uh, useful you could sort of bookmark it save it share it uh, stick around for more of course you can follow me on my platforms um, Said F0 on X and Said on LinkedIn and of course you could uh, you could of course um, yeah leave a comment or the likes cool so let's uh, let's crack right in let's get straight in there so yeah um, there's questions around the QBench assessment report uh, to fix the tests with a fail status on this for work and old security so let's crack that open and we could just type that straight in there <coughs> good thing about the QBench report is that it gives the remediations right away and it tells you what the issue is so here we've got the first fill 4.2.2 this might be a bit small so I'll just zoom in really quickly there you go that's cool so this ensure that the authorization mode is not set to always allow so this is a um, one node cluster so um, of course in the exam you'd have to SSH into the worker node and you know make the configurations there but in our case we've only got one so it's provided the path so let's crack that open take a little look at it so we've got the anonymous app force web hook set to true authorization mode there we go so this is the bit it's complaining about so we'll set that to webhook and we'll just save that cool let's take a little look at the second issue I think that's another full fail ensure that the protect kernel defaults argument is set to true let's take that Another thing is it, it it sort of gives you the validations here and yeah I'd probably advise not to get used to that because in the actual exam you wouldn't necessarily have that so let's just hit search on, on this little point here and we'll look for that there you go so default kubelet behavior for the kernel tuning if set So this is the flag that we need, of course. So we need to enable that. So if we head back into that bar there, it will be under the this sort of segment here. Of course, not in the form of flags. So yeah, it's camel casing. So. After you've fixed the issues, you can update the published report in the QBench assessment report tab by running this script right here. Oh, it's not really a good time to verify me now. <laughs> but let me minimize that. So yeah, let's run that. Run that script. Let's have a little look where we are. <coughs> There's that cube. Publish the QBench script. And then we can open this up and we'll look for that same section here. So there we go. No more fails. Or failures rather. <laughs> cool. On to the next one. 